What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and you're probably wondering Alex, is this going to be another deep web video because you're wearing your sunglasses little guys? I want to mention that I slept for just a couple of hours, I might look like a zombie, so that's why I'm keeping these sunglasses on just for the intro because it might look a little bit less you know, personal, but also a little bit less distracting because I don't I don't want you guys to look at my zombie eyes, you know, if I took if I take off my sunglasses. So today was a beautiful day. As you can see right now, uh, the sun is shining. If it wants to focus on there, well there's just a few clouds. And I thought to myself today, I woke up at like really, really early, I think at around 6:30, and I thought, let's make an awesome Vegas tutorial again today. And if you missed yesterday After Effects tutorial, nature to check out the link in the description there's a link there so with that being said I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create the movie theater effect in Vegas Pro 15 so if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash that like button down below and I'll catch you guys obviously right after the intro <laughs> Okay guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 15, what we're gonna do is we are going to drag in the clip of the theater that we just downloaded, which is just royalty free stock footage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in that clip, which is obviously this one, and as you can see it is just, you know, empty because there's no people in it, so we're still gonna, you know, place our video on there. So what they did is they added a green screen where the, the video should play. So we're gonna remove that first, we're gonna go to the uh, video fixed tab which is right here and then we're gonna scroll down until we see the chroma key which is right here we're gonna drag that on top of the clip and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uncheck it for a second then we're gonna click on this blue bar then we're gonna click on this pencil icon and we're gonna pick the nice green part like that now we're gonna re-enable the chroma key and as you can see it turns black that means that it is transparent and now we can place any video in that spot Okay guys, so as you can see I dragged in the After Effects tutorial that dropped yesterday. You guys have to check that out. The link is in the description. So this is the video. As you can see, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new video track and for example, we're gonna trim it right here. Then we are going to place the audio underneath it. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on the track motion icon and we're gonna go ahead and make this guy smaller until it fits on the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and drag it like that. We're gonna also make it a little bit smaller and maybe just a little bit you know uh, taller like this or what we can do is we can also lower the opacity as you can see so now that we're gonna go ahead and you know click on the event pen crop what we can do is we can actually select what we want to show in the preview screen so we're gonna go ahead and click on mask at the bottom and then we're gonna click on the uh, rectangle or square mask creation tool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the entire area and then we're gonna go ahead and drag this guy down until, until it fits nicely on the cinema screen. We're gonna do that for the same until it fits nice and easy like that. We're gonna also make just make it a little bit bigger. So if you go ahead and close this out, we're going to just put up the opacity to maximum. As you can see, this is how it looks and this is how you make your videos look like it's played in a theater. Enter it using the Align tool. If you don't see this, you can find it by going to Window Align. Now what you can also do in order to make this, you know, a little bit more realistic is you can go ahead and click on the effects tab of the audio and we can click on the reverb button. We're going to click on add, click on OK. Then what we're going to do, it's going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to add a little bit more uh, reverb and we're going to add in the bright hall. So let's play it back and this is what it sounds like. Enter it using the align tool. If you don't see this, you can find it by going to window align. After Effects can easily turn 2D layers into 3D. So that's what we're gonna do. Check this box here and now your text layer is a 3D layer. We can hit P to bring up the 
So as you can see, that is how to do it. This is how to make your videos play in a movie theater with the enhanced audio that it looks like it's playing like it's kind of a surround area. This is how simple it is. So guys, that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. Have an awesome weekend. And I'll catch you guys, obviously, in a brand new video next week.